Hey, Floss Tube. Long time no see. Yeah, I I know. I was like every week, and then life happened. It it it, it really happened. Seriously. I can tell you, I'm ready for this whole lockdown thing to be over. It was fun. <laughs> no, I'm done with it. So, um, been stitching like a lot of people have been doing. Um, been finishing up a lot of stuff because, you know, as you know, I'm, I'm a multi-crafter. So I've been going through that closet, which has been storing tons of stuff and just finishing up a lot of things. So getting, uh, bags done, getting quilt tops done, finishing up things. I usually finish at least like 10 projects a, a week. It's kind of impressive. And I'm getting some good stitching in. So for this video, I decided because it's kind of been a while and I, I my brain's like shink, um, I decided this is going to be my mania preview because I am probably not going to wait until mania to get started on these because um, I really want to get going on them. <laughs> so uh, I figured I'd show all of you guys what I'm doing, what I'm planning, and uh, maybe it'll give you some ideas. So what I did is I... Had, I've made an ex uh, a spreadsheet of my whips and my projects that I kitted up with fabric um, for the, that I, I just matched my fabric with patterns. Most of those are DMC, uh, so I already have all of the uh, the floss for them. I mean, yeah, I've got my my Annie's keepers with all my floss. Um, and some need specialty threads, and some of those specialty threads I have already, others I need to get. But basically with all of the ones I picked for Mania, I have enough that I can get started. Um, and then work on uh, getting those specialty threads. Because of the lockdown, I haven't been able to go up to Cindy's um, in like a month. I'm going nuts because I really want to go up there and work. Um, so I'm waiting for that to lift, and that's... And I'll get... If I'm missing threads, that's where I'll I'll pick them up from. Um, but it's yeah, it's all good. Yeah, no. So let's get started. So what I did is I picked uh, 31 new starts because that's how insane I am. I mean, I I have like 120 whips. I need more. Why not? I mean, I have like 130 that were all set up and ready to go. I had more set up ready to go that I have actually started in the whip box. So I'm like, whatever, let's just have fun. It's one of those years. Just bring it on, people. Um, anyway, so I'll just kind of go through, and this is this is the order. I did a random number generator, and this is the order that they came out in. I don't know if it'll necessarily be the order I actually start them in, but we'll see. So the first one is... Mirabilia, Lilith of Labrador. I love this one. I mean, we know I love my mirrors. And I love my mirror mermaids. Yeah, I kitted up a bunch. Well, I should say I mapped fabric with a bunch of mirrors. So I'm excited for that. So for this one, this was one of the last ones I got from Cindy's before all the lockdown happened. Um, so, of course, I I picked up the water lilies and stuff for that. I mean, oh, that's showing more blue. It's actually this gorgeous teal. Stunningly gorgeous teal. Um, and I'm doing that, uh, that one on a... So this is one of the Fabric Flare limited edition um, ones. So this, it's... Uh, it becomes available to the public six months after it's released to the fabric party. So you can get this down the road or just sign it for the fabric party and get it now. So this is called Spring Smoke. This was the uh, seasonal February 2020. And it's this really awesome purpley, smoky. Yeah, there we go. That's how we're going to hide the window back there. I wanted to set this up on my table. My sewing table and <laughs> it just happens to have the window in the background i just fold it over there you go so it's kind of this blue purpley smoke screen anyway i think she's going to look absolutely gorgeous 
on this. Um, and so that's a 28 uh, even that I'm going to be doing her on. Um, so yeah, excited for that one. And I, I must say this one kind of made me laugh a little. So I have all of the uh, um, Seven Deadly Sins from Hate. I did uh, the pack, the kit, whatever it's called. Sure. Anyway, where they kit it all up for you. So you get the fabric and the floss and the da -de -de -de. So random number generator in its hilarity picked two of them, <laughs> of course. Uh, so the first one will be Sloth, which Mara is going to be all over this one because, of course, it's blue. She's obsessed with Elsa, and blue is now her new favorite color. Everything is Elsa. The girl keeps telling me, she's like, when's my hair going to turn white so, um, so I can be Elsa and everybody will know that I'm Elsa? My four-year-old for you. Um, so, and I'll just show you this. I'm not going to pull it out because it's how they package it. Um, so this is, uh, it's the 25 count Lugana, just white Lugana. Um, and it's, uh, it's 30 by 22. It's going to be pretty big. Um, so this will be, a the other, I started, which one did I start? Not that, lust. I think I started lust. So I've got to see how I did lust, because I think I was doing it two over one tent. But I might try with this one, because there's a lot of light. I think I might be able to get away with one over one full cross. I don't know yet what I'm going to do. <sighs> I've tried both. I like the tent, but it gets to be a pain when, because... Because how I do it is I do it, you know, uh, tent one way and then continental back the other way. So I'm always starting in the in the bottom uh, left hole and wrapping it. But that gets kind of annoying. And then it jumps around. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll figure it out by the time I start it. How about that? That's how I, that's how I roll. Um, the other one that it chose is Vanity. And I've seen lots of people do this one. So I'm actually really excited for this one. Um, another favorite color, purple. Especially of Mara, that's her. I don't know why purple is. Blue's her, blue's her primary favorite right now. Um, so again, Lugana here. Uh, 25 count, this is a 31 by 22. So, yeah. I don't have enough hay started already. Next is uh, Paula Vaughn Through a Father's Eyes. Now, I also have the Through a Mother's Eyes. Um, so, funny story with that one, and I, I think I've shared it before, is I started that one years ago. Oh my goodness, years and years and years ago. I, had a, I got a kit for it. And somewhere, it was one of the first counted that I ever really did. And... I really didn't know what I was doing, and I didn't do it right. Anyway, I actually still have it set. I'll have to pull it out and show you what's like, because I, I, I just saved it, because it was like, it has a story behind it, and anyway, it just got off so much, and I was going to give it to my mom, and I got married, and yeah, that didn't happen, um, and I pulled it out to try to work on it, and there was, there was just no saving it. It was so bad, <laughs> and I'm like, okay, forget this, so... I, I completely scrapped it and then was like, well, I need, I'm going to do it again. Because I do have a daughter. I can give it to her. And um, so I have the Through a Mother's Eyes as well, which I'm going to restart again. I don't think I've restarted that one yet. But anyway, I didn't know there was a Through a, the Father's, Through a Father's Eyes. Um, and I discovered that. Yeah, I'm really weird. This is just hot water. That's what I drink. Don't do coffee. Hate the smell of it, actually. Tea. I do herbal tea every now and again, but I like just drinking straight hot water. I know, I'm weird. My husband's always like, what can I get you? I'll just hand him a mug. He's like, of course, of course. 
that's my weird fact for the day. Next one is, oh, oh, let me show you the fabric I'm doing that on as I get off on a tangent with water. Uh, so this is just a something. It's a, this might be a, it's either a 28 or a 32. It's just a piece I had in my stash. It's a little coarse. It's not very, very soft, but I think it'll work perfectly for that. What's well, a something? It's a piece of something. Okay, next. Gypsy Queen. So I, I love my queens. I love my queens too. Um, I love the fabric I'm gonna do her on. Oh my gosh. Oh. So this one, this is a under the sea fabrics, and this is fiery skies, and it's a 32 linen. Yeah. yeah let's hide that window back there. There we go. Yeah. She is going to look amazing on that. Yeah, I'm excited for that one. Pinks and blues and yellows and gold and reds. I think it's perfect fabric for her. Okay, the next. I think I'm missing some of these, so I'm gonna have to pick up the rest when I go up. I go back to Cindy's. Is the uh, it's the Country Cottage Needleworks Glitter Village. Don't mind my kids; they're playing a uh, they're playing Minecraft. So these are the first six. I'm gonna do them all on one. So we've got Glitter House one. I mean, these are pretty Glitter House two, Glitter House three, and four. And five, and six, I think there's like nine, so I just have to pick up the rest, but I'll have time to do that. So, um, but I'm going to do them all as one. I So I got these at um, Sister's Paradise when I went to Vegas uh, last year, year before, sometime around now. Um, anyway, and they had them done up, and it was, it was really cool looking. They had them done. Um, and I'll probably substitute some some sparklies in there. Gotta have sparklies with the glitter house. I mean, come on. It's not glitter if there's not glitter everywhere. I mean, it's like, if you're gonna glitter, glitter it. Um, so... Ugh. I'm doing that one. And this is another Under the Sea Fabrics. And this is Mermaid Sea. So the 32 linen in opal. It's gorgeous. Blue. And it's sparkly. So. It's gonna be glitter houses on glitter. Bring on the glitter. Everybody needs some glitter. At least with their cross stitch. Most stuff looks better on opal, not everything, but a lot of stuff looks better on opal. Okay, this one is like, I'm so excited for this one. Lady of the Flag. So, I managed to score this chart probably about two years ago, maybe last year. It's all jumbled together now. Anyway, scored this one and I've gone back and forth debating on what fabric to do it on because, I mean, everybody, everybody likes to do it on the, the pledge or the preamble or something, and I'm like, eh, I don't know. So when I was going through all my fabrics that I had, I found one that's perfect. So this is another uh, fabric flare party, fabric party. And this one is available to the public, and this is called Hocus Pocus, and this is 28 even. Yeah. Ooh, here, I'm gonna hide, I'm gonna hide the window. There we go. I think she's gonna look stunning on this. Absolutely stunning. And I like how it has the yellow, and then it has kind of the blue, and it looks a little feathery, a little watery. So I'm like, I'm just gonna go, I'm, I'm just gonna do it. Why not? 
gonna do her completely different. I think she's gonna look absolutely gorgeous on it. And then, as the random generator continued with its big projects, Santa's Magic, another Mira. I saw this stitched up in at Stitcher's Paradise, and oh my gosh, it was gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So I had two fabrics I was going back and forth. I asked the, the mania, mania group, I'm like, which one should I do? And the answer was overwhelmingly Heartland. This is a 32 Lugana by Picture This Plus. So it's this nice, looking a little, oh, there, okay, there we go, that's pretty. That's more true to color. This gorgeous tan. So I'll be doing Santa's magic on that. I'm excited to get started on that one. This is another one I saw stitched up as, um, no, did I see this one? No, I didn't see this one stitched up. I saw Halloween Town stitched up um, by Raise the Roof. And um, this is another one that I really liked because I love Nightmare Before Christmas. And so it says this is Halloween. Uh, there we go. I'll have to get the buttons and everything. If they still have them. Probably. I'll figure it out. Um, I know Cindy can get it if they still have them, so I will ask her. And I'm doing that. And this is from... Jodry Designs. This is her October 2019 limited edition. It's called Wicked Witch, and it's a 32 count Murano. I figured this was pretty perfect for a Halloween one. So, that's not a huge pattern, so it's perfect. So, I'm excited. Excited to get that one started. Always need more Halloween. Can't have too many how you cannot have too many Halloweens. And then of course more big ones. So the Angel of Cross Stitch. And this is the uh is this the one? Yeah, so this one does not have the, the 35 new colors. I think she's redone it to include those, but it uses all the others, the other DMCs. Which, pretty sure I have all of those. Let's see, let's see. Ready? Yep. Yeah, come on. So, this one I'm doing on an under the sea fabrics, and this is a 32 linen, and it's silky. It's kind of a nice, plain. Kind of a tannish. So I really like this one. Which I think is good because that's it's more or less almost a full coverage piece. So I didn't want to take away from the pattern. Okay. Um, of course another Mira. This is Savannah's curtsy. They're playing Minecraft. Yep. You can hear him. I don't know if you can. I can hear him. They're... It's been spring break this last week, so... <sighs> we're all... We're all tired of being cooped up. They want to go play at the park, because we have... So, at the school, which is just... I'm backwards, so it is... That way, <laughs> I can't remember what direction I'm in. Um, there's like two playgrounds at the school, and then we have a third big playground at the park. And of course, they said don't put playgrounds, and so it's like, what do we do now? Um, so I'm doing this one on. Um, this is this a stage, another uh, fabric flare fabric, and this is a 28 even. So it's this. So it's a white stage. So I'll be. Making it look like she's curtsying on the stage. So I'll do a 
the trick that Cindy does where she, you basically cut out a piece of paper that's the same size as what the finished uh, figure will be. And then you can center it. And so I'll do that. Because um, the nice thing with it is I can... I mean, I can move the the welcome around, and so I, I won't do the, the bottom, the tiles that she's on, because that'll be on the stage. Uh, next is a Stony Creek, and this is a Christmas Sentiments. And um, so this one um, was a, a Moe's sale. She did some some kits, kind of some Christmassy style kits, and um, she dyed the floss for it and everything. So we got the the floss and the fabric. Um, so anyway, this is all the all the hand dyed floss that she did. Has that Moe's sale smell? I love it. And then. I think this might be from my stash. I think she might have just sent the floss. I don't remember. Anyway, this is just a piece of witchled something or other. Tan. So. I think I think she did send this one. So. That'll be that one. I love her floss. I love her flosses. Doing a couple projects with her flosses. Next is a Clouds Factory pattern. And it is, uh, it's movie quotes, and it's the Hocus Pocus spell. I love Hocus Pocus. Such a good one. So it's, twist the bones and bend the back. Itchit a copita melica mystica. Trim him of his baby fat. Itchit a copita melica mystica. Give him fur black as black. Just like this. I haven't seen it in a while, so I don't remember the, you know, rhythm of that, but. Each one day make him a cat. And I'm doing this, and this was a giveaway uh, fabric that from uh, Dying for Cross Stitch, and I got this huge lot of fabric, it was amazing. Um, so this is a uh, 14 count Ada. And if you know me, you know I don't stitch on Ada much, um, but I, this maps perfectly. Um, and it's a opalescent, I don't think it has a name, but it's this really, really fun <laughs> Halloween type. Yeah. So, I think that's going to be so perfect. Now I just have to figure out where I'm going to position it. But I figured that was... Perfect, perfect match for a, for a Hocus Pocus. <laughs> okay, next. I mentioned I like mirrors. So next is Siren and the Shipwreck. So this is another gorgeous, gorgeous mermaid one. He can be sparkly. Lots of beads on this one. Got some Krynik. Let's see where the... Oh, I can definitely tell the water lily is in her. She's got some water lilies in her tail. That one... I'm going to do on this, and this is a uh, 32 Lugana. And this is Fabrics by LJ. And it's the color Princess. So it's this gorgeous purple, blue. I don't know which side I'll do it on. Speaking of princesses, I hear one walking down the stairs right now. So, I think we may have a visitor. Hi, Princess, what's wrong? Your leg still hurts. Is that from when you tripped and fell? Oh, I'm so sorry. You want to you want to help me do my video? Yeah. Okay. Oh, we're gonna have a helper for the video. Smile. You gotta smile if you're gonna be on the video. Can you say hi to everybody. 
Okay, so the next one that I will be doing is, if I can get the cover sheet out. I'll just take the whole thing out, why not? Um, it's a Victoria Vachenko, which I love my Victoria Vachenkos. It's Alice. I know, isn't that cool? She looks, she has a, she's holding the bunny with the, the watch. Stick that back in there. Okay, you're gonna do it? Okay, here, can I have it? And I'll put it in here. <laughs> it's so funny. Here, you can hold up the fabric. Um, and so the fabric that I'm gonna do her on, this is from a medley. Let me pull it out, let me pull it out. Um, there's this floral medley. Can you hold it up like that? There you go. And it has nice roses and stuff. Here we go. <laughs> and so I figured it was appropriate, you know, because of the flower garden and everything. Yes. You're silly baby girl. Um, <coughs> hey, don't do that. No, this is not it. This is not a video to Aunt Kelly. This is going on my YouTube. My frosted. Yes, you're so cute. How about you go curl up in your blankie? No. Okay, stop it. Close your mouth. Close your mouth. She's four, what can I say? Uh, okay, then we got another Mira coming out, and this is Winter Queen. Okay. You wanna see it? There you go. Isn't that pretty? Winter Queen. Yeah, Winter Queen. Who else is a Winter Queen? Mara. Yeah, Mara. <laughs> yes, you're a Winter Queen, Mara. Uh, um, this one doing on a, so this will be available in May. Oh, let me pause this. Hubby's calling. And we're back. <laughs> ah, yeah, gotta love those phone calls. Hubby's shopping, so. He needed the shopping list. And we had to get Mara settled, so I could finish without a cute little four-year-old on my lap. So. Anyway, so the last one was Winter Queen, and the fabric I'm doing her on uh, was a limited edition fabric flare from the Fabric Party, and um, it will be available next month, pretty sure. No, yeah, yeah, next month. And so this is called Pink Crystal Holly, so it's kind of this gradient pink holly. I think it's going to be way fun. I think she's going to look really cool on it. Very unique. Because that's what I like to do. I like to do unique. It has to be fun. Okay, next, another one that I've been looking forward to starting. And this is a Joan Elliott, and this is the Time Traveler. I love... Uh, Katie, this uh, Stash Queen's uh, conversion she did for Doctor Who. It's pretty, pretty epic. But I'm just going to do her regular. <laughs> and I'm doing her. And this one will be available in June. And this is, it's called New World. And again, it's a fabric flare one. It's this gorgeous kind of steampunk-esque looking one so I think she's gonna look awesome on that kind of very old world traveler so, I think that'll be pretty fun then we got another mirror and this one is Stargazer. Love this one. And I am going to be doing her. Let me pause. I've got my eight-year-old now coming down whining. 
right back. Yeah. Apparently Wesley's having a meltdown because Riker killed him in Minecraft and took his stuff. I told him to turn it off and go do something else. Okay, anyway. Getting back to like the video of interruptions by the kids. This is what happens when you're stuck at home all the time. Um, so this is a uh, 28 even fabric flare, and this is looking at the stars, and this is opaled. So I'll have her kind of down there in the trees, looking up at the stars. I knew as soon as I... This Saturday we get donuts. Saturday, okay, when Daddy gets home, no. you can talk. You can call Papa and ask about it. Most donut places are closed right now, sweetheart. Oh, please don't. Okay, I'm doing a video right now. Oh, no. We will we will talk about this when I'm done. Okay. Oh, no. I want a donut. Okay, I'll talk. We'll talk about this when I'm done. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bye. Life with kids! Yay! <sighs> I enjoy it. What what can I say? You know, it's nice. It, no air. It passes fast. There's part of me that's like, it'd be really nice to be in this lockdown with, like, teenagers that I don't have to babysit all the time. But at the same time, it's nice to have little ones. At the same time, it's not nice to have little ones. <laughs> anyway, they'll figure it out. I don't think they slept well last night. I think they were up too early or sneaking game. I don't know what they were doing, but I'm pretty sure they didn't sleep as much as they should last night. So I think we'll be having naps today. We usually don't do naps. Next, another Mira. This is red. Love her. Figure out where the looks like she uses two Karen water lilies. I'll have to figure out where those are used. This is another one that as soon as I saw this fabric, I knew exactly what I was doing on it. And this is this is a 28 even. This is Misty Forest. My fabric flare. Yeah. She is gonna look awesome. You can just see the wolf. You can just see the wolf hiding. Hiding there in the in the midst. I'm excited for that one. That one's gonna be way cool. That's another one I've seen a lot of really cool conversions on, but I'm just gonna do it solid red because it's gonna really pop on that. Uh, next is Anemone by Bella Filipina. There we go. Love this one. Oh my gosh, his new ones. Oh. I need to get more of the Bella Filipinas. This is another one, again, an Ada, something you don't see me do much on, but this was a Miss Dye, and it was just so perfect. And this is an opal, and it's called Chalk Dust. Um, and just look at that. I mean, those pinks and yellows. Yeah. I mean, it is just... She's gonna look stunning on there. It just matches it. Ugh. It's so beautiful! Excited for that. And the thing that I like about Fabric Flare, Ada, is it's nice and soft. and It'll be awesome. And then we got some Brooks books. And this is her uh, fairy tale... Princess series, of which I have all of them. So this one is Rapunzel. Of course I have all of her. I'm so glad she's getting back into designing again. She's feeling better, so... Hopefully we'll get some of these... I know we got the next Mer Sister. <coughs> 
So I'm doing this on, I think this was, this to them is palette. Because a lot of these, I split them. I, I would get one piece of fabric and then split the fabric in half. The top half is one, the bottom half is another. So this is a fabric flare. One. It's kind of these blues, pinks, blues, yellows, kind of rainbowy esque type colors. So I think she'll fit really well. I liked this one because it reminded me of the uh, all her paintings and stuff that she does. So, remind me of paint strokes. So that is will go on that one. And then the next one is it was still up there. Takes video games way too seriously. Um, this is Tiana, the Frog Princess. And she was a she was a fun one to figure out because I was like, do I do it kind of more on a swampy type one? Do I do anyway? And so when I was going through the fabrics, um we found this one. I think this one, I think this is the other half. So Rapunzel was done on the bottom, or top half of this one, and then I'm doing Tiana on the other half, because this kind of reminded me of a Bayou style. So it's kind of this, it's kind of more browns. Let me fold it in half, it's easier. There we go. Kind of more browns, grays, a little bit of color. But it felt more New Orleans. Um, so, I mean, that's literally the, that and so the Rapunzel one and this one, that's the same fabric. Just one's the top half of the fabric and one's the bottom half of the fabric. Um, which goes to show when you get, if you get bigger pieces of fabric, you can put multiple things on them. And they, you know, just changes the look depending on where you position it. It's kind of nice. Okay, next is, uh, she calls it the Desert Princess, I just call it Jasmine, because that's what it is. <laughs> so, I really like this one. This one is a pretty one. And so I'm doing her. I want to see this was. This might have been African Sunset. But it looks very. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see the. Let me fold it in half so you can kind of see the bottom part of it. There you go. Now you can see the toning. So this is the bottom. So it kind of does this gray. So this is kind of like the sand. And this is kind of like a desert. Anyway, it looked very deserty to me. Um, and so I'm going to put it where, you know, this is the bottom, this is the top. So it looks like she's in the desert. This is another one where another one of the Brooks books is the other half of that one. And then the last of the Brooks books fairy tale princesses. Let me give you a clue. It's Mara's favorite princess. Elsa. A.K.A. the Snow Princess. So, and she was a fun one, because I, I liked how they kind of did the... I like how she did the multi-tone, how there's kind of some purple there down in the bottom, and then it goes to the blue. So I, I wanted to tie that into the fabric. I didn't want, and I didn't want to do a snow one because that was just like a cliche to the max. So I found this one, and she's a bigger one. So this is a bigger piece of fabric. Um, anyway, but this is what I'm gonna do her on. So let me fold it so you can get the. So you have kind of this purple and then the blue. There we go. And this is all just inlaid 
it's printed in there. It's not printed on it or anything. That's just part of the fabric. But I just think that's going to look so gorgeous. So that is our Elsa. Next is Butternut Road, and this is Once Upon a Time. There we go. I thought this one was really pretty. And I love fairy tales, and I love stories, so once upon a time. And I'm doing her, um, and I think this was a trial one that they were doing. Um, so this is Arctic Ice, and this has some gold overlay. So this is actually, this isn't printed on, uh, it isn't part of the fabric, it's put on top, um, but you can sew through it really, really easy. This is another Ada. So I think it's just going to look really pretty on that. So yeah, so this, these golds, it's on top, but you can stitch through them. It's not the first time I've used a fabric that has these, this kind of overlay. Um, but it's actually really nice to work with. It doesn't gum up your needle or anything, and slides through really easy, so I really like that. So that's that one. Then we got some more Victorias. Brievchenko. We've got her Tinkerbell. I'll probably end up doing this one for my sister, because she, she loves Tinkerbell. So usually when I find cute... Tinkerbell stuff. I do it for her, or I give it to her. Um, and she is going on another fabric party, and this one is available to the general public. And this is called Strawberry Ice, and I thought this just screamed Tinkerbell. So you can see we've got the greens and the pinks. Yeah. Definitely Tinkerbell. Definitely Tinkerbell. Okay, and then we've got another Victoria. This one is Esmeralda. Very underrated Disney character. With your little goat. Yeah, she really is underrated. She and Megra, kind of those underrated female Disney characters, because they're not technically princesses, so we don't see them a lot. I'm doing her. I think. Oh, here we go. This is under the sea fabrics. This is the remaining piece of one I used part of this for something else. This is incoming storm. And it's a 32 Lugana. Got a nice pretty blue. A little bit of a little bit of some brown modeling in there. This one just this this one said Esmeralda to me. Ah. String. String, string, string. Next, another Victoria, <coughs> and this is, uh, <coughs> allergies, gotta love them. So here it's like, <laughs> world went, ooh, COVID-19, let's add allergies to this. Sailor Moon, and I just love, I love this one. I've actually, ironically enough, never watched this series. I've watched a lot. I mean, I've watched a lot of it for me. I read a lot of manga. Believe you me. Um, but I actually never have watched Sailor Moon. I mean, I've seen the intro. Everybody's seen the intro. And, like, I know the cats and stuff, but I actually haven't watched it. I need to watch that. We'll add it to the watch list. This one is another fabric party. I'm excited for this one. 
Um, this one is also available to the public. This is called Blooming Pretty. And ugh, I can't really see, let's see if I can get it. Okay, there you go. Now you can see it. So there's flowers all over it. So what I loved about doing it on this one is the bulk of her is like tent stitches and it's kind of see-through. So you're going to be able to see a lot of this background on there. And I think it's just going to be absolutely stunning. Can you see why I'm not going to wait until Mandy to get these started? I mean, it's like, I don't know what the random number generator was doing, but it was like, I'm going to pick every single one that she wants to start right now. Right this second. Because seriously, I want to start all of them, like, right now. <laughs> Another Mira, and this is Royal Games 2. I do have Royal Games 1 as well. But this is 2. And I'm, I'm going to be doing 1 and 2 on the same piece of fabric. So this is diamond and uh, clover. Yep. So I'm going to be doing them on a... It's a Fiberlicious, and it's Maldives. And it's a 32 opalescent linen. Oh, that is that is way too blue. Let's see if I can try to get it. No. It's a gorgeous teal. It's showing way too blue. Nope. Not really. No, it's it's like a green, sea green teal color. And it's just, it's going to be so perfect. Ooh, that's kind of, there you go. That's kind of more the color. There you go. But it is, it's beautiful in person. Absolutely beautiful. And just the, the contrast that it'll have with the colors of the Royal Game. So I'll be doing one on one side and then the second one on the other side. So it's going to be really pretty. And another Mira. I love it. Sleeping Beauty. So this is an oldie. Oldie but a goodie. Gotta, of course I gotta have all the Disney prints. I got Cinderella, I've got Rapunzel. I've got all our Dis the, the, the princess ones, we should say. We call them Disney princesses. They're technically, I mean, now we all know them as Disney princess. So this one I'm doing on a, a picture of this plus Nessie. And it's a 32 Lugana. It's gorgeous. Kind of blue, blue-gray. Anyway, I this is gonna be really pretty. And this is another one that I I wanted to have the focus be on the stitching, not on the fabric. So this one got more of a plain uh, a plain fabric. And last but not least, number thirty one, Enchanted Mermaid by Mira. Mostly DMC, some cry neck, Ugh, some beads. This one I'm doing on Fiberlicious Neverland. This is a 32 opalescent linen. And this one is, again, it's showing up a little more blue. The browns are showing up, right? Um, the blue is a little, that's a little better right there. But it's very sparkly, as you can see. So I saw this and I'm like, this is just going to be perfect for Enchanted Mermaid. So, so yeah, so there are my 31 starts for Mania that I'll probably start stitching on today. <laughs> Close enough, we're within a month. We're within 30 days, I can do that. Um, and, I mean, I've been working on, I've been stitching a lot. Um, Kind of been keeping up with, uh, with the homework and magical stitches, kind of not, kind of doing my own thing, <laughs> it's kind of what I feel like, um, I got focused on one project and just, like, could not stop stitching on it, so I did that for, like, a week, um, and then doing more sewing and crocheting and 
all this other stuff that is way fun. Playing around with the embroidery machine. Um, yeah. Making lots of fun things. Um, coming up with new ideas. I've not decided I want a glow for. Well, I should say, when the Glow Forge first came out several years ago, I wanted it, and I still want it even more now. <laughs> And it's like, I'm creating things in my head. I, I don't even know when I'll actually get one. I really want one. <laughs> don't know when that'll happen. But I already know what I'm going to make with it. And all these fun, crazy ideas. So, yeah. Anyway. This is actually what I'm working on right now. Harriet right, Heartland. And, uh... It's a pro. So it's kind of funny, because I started... I'll have to show you this. This is how much I got. I have done. Not a lot done so far. But uh, this is on uh, third, uh, 36. And so I started, this kind of, you can't really tell, but the darkest green is actually 2 over 2. And I was kind of working on finishing up, and I'm like, you know what? I, I don't care. I just want to do it 1 over 1. So all the other green and the red and everything else is going to be one over one. And I'm probably going to say forget it and just keep doing this dark green in one over one. Because it'll just this little, little tiny corner that'll have it two over two. And honestly, when you're three feet away, you don't even see it. And I don't, I don't want to frog it. I already had to frog a Savior's Praise. Yeah, that was like over 2,000 stitches that I've had to frog on that thing. Not happy on that one, but the nice thing is I was able to, the, the fabric is fine, so I can just use it and I'll just start it again. So, yeah. Anyway, hope everybody's uh, having fun, keeping safe, keeping sane. Um, stitch, a, stitch away, or craft away, or read away, or whatever you're, you're doing that keeps you... Uh, Entertained. I've been doing every, literally everything from puzzles to computer games and all crafts in between, um, which is fun. Not really cleaning because I do that any, anyway. So I'm doing the stuff that I usually don't get a ton of time to do. Um, so yeah. Anyway, hope everybody's surviving and at least in some way, shape, or form enjoying your time at home. Whatever, whatever little little bit of doing that. Um, but again, remember to stay safe. Uh, just be careful, and let's hopefully get this thing beat quickly. Um, I hope I'm planning to do another video soon. I'm not gonna give a time frame because I I, I really I can't, I can't stick to it. I can't. So I will do another video whenever I uh, do another video, probably to kind of show you where I got started on everything, or when I start doing other stuff, or I I don't know what. Maybe we'll do a random video of thing of other things that I've done, of other crafts that I've done. I don't know. Anyway, uh, bye before I keep rambling on for millennia. Doodles. <laughs>